Welcome back to Educational Hub. Today, we're diving into a critical aspect of the M4 Pro Mac Mini that often sparks debate, storage options and upgrades. Whether you're a seasoned Mac user or someone considering making the jump to Apple's ecosystem, understanding your storage options is essential for making the most of your investment. Let's break it all down from internal storage to external SSD solutions and discover how you can optimize your workflow without breaking the bank. Why the M4 Pro Mac Mini stands out. The M4 Pro Mac Mini has become a standout device in Apple's lineup. It's compact, powerful, and surprisingly affordable for its category. Starting at $1,400, the Pro version is a versatile option for creatives, developers, and professionals. However, as incredible as this device is, one glaring issue remains, storage. Apple's storage upgrades can be notoriously expensive, and the base configurations often leave users grappling with limited space. This is especially true if you're dealing with high-resolution video editing, professional photography, or large project files. So what's the solution? Stick around as we uncover how to maximize your Mac Mini's potential while keeping costs under control. A quick look at my setup. To give you some context, here's the setup I've been working with. Chip, M4 Pro with a 14-core CPU, 20-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine. Memory, 48 gigabytes, which strikes a balance between performance and cost. Storage, one terabyte internal SSD. Extras, upgraded to a 10 Gbps Ethernet port for seamless connectivity. While this configuration is solid for most tasks, the one terabyte storage quickly becomes limiting when working with large files or managing extensive archives. Why internal storage isn't always the best choice. Historically, internal storage was the gold standard for performance and convenience. But times have changed. Apple's solid-state drives, SSDs, are incredibly fast, but upgrading from one terabyte to two terabytes or more can add hundreds, or even thousands, of dollars to your total cost. The risks of internal storage. Internal storage has its downsides. Data loss risk. If your Mac Mini is damaged or stolen, you risk losing all your data unless you've diligently backed it up. Limited flexibility. Internal SSDs tie you to one device. With external storage, you can easily switch between multiple machines. External SSDs, the flexible alternative. External SSDs have emerged as a game changer for many users. They offer portability, use them across devices seamlessly. Affordability, high-performance SSDs cost significantly less than Apple's internal upgrades. Upgradability, choose the storage capacity you need now and upgrade later as required. Choosing the right SSD. Not all SSDs are created equal. My initial experience with the Samsung T7 SSD was a mixed bag. While it performed well for short tasks like transferring video files from my iPhone 16 Pro Max, it struggled under the demands of 4K video editing in Final Cut Pro. Prolonged use led to overheating, causing significant performance drops and delays. Enter the Acasis TB501 enclosure. After consulting with other creators, I discovered the Acasis TB501, an external SSD enclosure designed to leverage the full potential of Thunderbolt 5. This device has been a revelation, offering blazing fast transfer speeds of up to 80 gigabits per second. What's inside? The Acasis TB501 doesn't come with built-in storage, allowing you to customize it to your needs. For my setup, I opted for a 2TB Samsung 990 EVO Plus SSD, known for its reliability and speed. Here's why this combination works. Cost effective. The enclosure costs around $250 and the SSD adds another $140, bringing the total to $390, far less than Apple's $600 for a 2 terabytes upgrade. Future proof. You can easily swap out the SSD for a larger one as your storage needs grow. Setting it up. Simplicity itself. Setting up the Acasis TB501 is straightforward. No tools are required. Just slide the SSD into the enclosure, attach the heatsink strip, and connect it to your Mac Mini using a Thunderbolt 5 cable. Formatting the SSD. Before using the SSD, you'll need to format it. Open Disk Utility on your Mac. Select the new drive. Choose APFS, Apple File System, for optimal performance. For users who need compatibility with both macOS and Windows, the XFAT format is a viable alternative. Real-world performance. The Acasis TB501, 
combined with the Samsung 990 EVO Plus, delivers exceptional performance. Using the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, I recorded read and write speeds that blew past most other external SSDs I've used. Additionally, the device runs incredibly quietly, with only a faint hum during heavy workloads. This makes it ideal for environments where silence is essential, such as video or audio editing studios. Why external storage makes sense. Beyond performance and cost savings, external storage offers a level of flexibility that internal SSDs simply can't match. With external drives, you can easily transfer projects between devices. Upgrading storage doesn't require buying a new Mac. Backup strategies become more versatile. Final thoughts, solving the storage dilemma. The M4 Pro Mac Mini is a phenomenal machine, but its storage limitations can hinder its potential. By investing in a high-quality external SSD solution like the Acasis TB501, you can sidestep Apple's expensive upgrades while enjoying top-tier performance. Whether you're a content creator, developer, or everyday user, external storage can be the key to unlocking your Mac Mini's full capabilities.